Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about delete and elements from an array. Suppose if I enter the number 5, or then I enter 5 elements 11, 12, 4, 5, 6. So I am going to delete to 4 uh, elements into the array. So I enter into the elements to delete. So I enter 4. So the output come 11, 12, 5, and 6. Suppose if I enter the elements 11, 12, 4, 5, and 6. So I'm going to enter. So I enter the elements to delete. So if I enter 13, so I enter the output come 13 is not present in in the array or uh, suppose if I enter the number at your 6 and uh, 6 elements I enter and here enter the elements to delete so at here I enter 6 so 6 is 2 times so I enter here or uh, 6 uh, when 6 is found it first time so that all uh, elements delete from the array so the output come 11, 12, 4, 5 and this 6 remove and uh, this uh, percent into the array. Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you divide the code, control comes to main method here after that coincide. So, I have created a scan class object SC by using new keyword scanner system dot in. Here after I have taken integer array time variable a double r and I have, I have given the size 55. So, maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. So, first variable is a double r. 
and here after I am taking of five integer variable. First is i. And here after n and LOC, here after ST and next flag. So at your flag, I initialized to zero. Now control comes to this point system cross dot auto print n methods. So what do we do? Good that display to output screen into the number so that display into the output scheme here n equal to sc dot next int so by default whatever i am going to enter so that or uh, the value is so uh, string so at here i am using in sc dot next int so a string value convert into integer with the help of sc and that called dot operator call next int method so at here i am going to enter n value 5 now here after system dot auto printer method so this all display into the output scan here after i so i value start from zero change the condition zero less than n value five condition is to that coincide so here it will all zero sc dot next end so that you see it will all zero percent integer value so at your this is it over all here this is a zero index here one next two here after three and next four so let's enter it or zero person element so i am going to enter four that go increase the value of i so i is now one check the condition one less than five condition is to that coincide so let's enter it or on one person new element so i am going to enter nine here after i increase so i is now two check the condition two less than five condition is two so let's enter it or two person new element so I am going to enter 11, here after i increase, so i is now 3, check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is to that coincide, so at here, let's enter 8 over 3 percent new element, so 3 percent at here, I am going to enter 6, now next that curve increase the value of i, so i is now 4, check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is to, so that coincide, let's enter 8 over 4 percent new element, so at here, I am going to enter 13, now that curve increase the value of i, so i is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point system cross dot odd dot print error method. So I do that print new line this value. Oh sorry, this method into the elements to delete. And whatever I'm going to enter, so that is see by st. So at st value I'm going to enter 11. And here after control comes to this point. So I do for i value start from 0, check the condition 0 less than n value 5, condition is to that coincide, so I do if a double or 0 double equal to st. So this is a double or 0, value is 4, 4 and st value is 11, 4 double equal to 11, condition is not to so that not coincide, here after that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 1, check the condition 1 less than 5, condition is to that coincide, so I do if a double or 1 double equal to st, so 1 person is 9, st value is 11. 9 double equal to 11, condition is uh, not true, not coincide, here after i increase, so i is not 2. Check the condition, 2 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincides, so if a double or 2, position is 11, and st value 11, so 11 equal to 11, condition is 2, so flag is now 1, here after i value go to lock, so i value is 2, so 2 go to lock, here after break a statement comes, so break a statement terminates the current, Execute, executing loop so here after that control comes to this point if flag double equal to 1 so flag is now 1 so i value go to loc so i value is 2 so 2 go to loc so no any changes here loc value go to i so i and here i value is 2 so i to check the condition 2 n minus 1 so 5 minus 1 this value is 4 so 2 less than 4 condition is 2 that coincides so i to a double r i equal to a over r i plus 1 so i value is 2 2 plus 1 so this value is 3 so a over 3 percent value go to a over r 2 so 6 move to this point and here after loop continue so i is 3 now check the condition 3 less than 4 condition is 2 so i have a over 3 plus 1 so 4 percent value go to a over 3 so this move to 13 here after i increase so i is now 5 check the condition 5 less than 
oh sorry i is for now uh, check the condition for less than four condition is not to not go inside here system class dot r dot print error method so this or this print is output skin here i will start from zero check the condition zero n minus one so this one is for zero less than four condition is to that coincides right here that display system class dot r dot print so that display a dot or zero person element so new array elements are so this is a dot r and here this is a zero index here one here two here three so zero index four nine and or six move to two person and 30 moves to three person and here i have given the size of array of 55 so till 55 that is to or uh, null character so for position that goes to null character so at your a dot r or zero position that display so for display now here after that curve increase the value of i so i is now one check the condition one less than four condition is two so that display a dot r one position element so nine display here after i is not two check the condition two less than four condition is two that coincides so this time that display a dot r two position element so six display here after i is three now check the condition three less than four condition is two so system dot order print so that display a dot three person element so 13 display here after i is now or four check the condition four less than four condition is not to not go inside so since if condition is two so that not go to as part so this is the output gate and here 11 terminate from the array so the output new array elements 4 9 6 13 so suppose if I enter the number not belongs to array. So this is the array 4, 9, 11, 6. So I enter ST value uh, here 5. So 5 is not in the array. So what will happen? Uh, ST value I enter 5. So if A or 0 double equal to ST. So 4 double equal to 5 that's not true so i gonna increase so next time that check 9 double equal to 5 that's not true so again here look continue so 11 equal to 5 that's not true then again check 6 double equal to 5 that's not true 13 double equal to 5 that's not true here after i is now 5 so i equal to 5 5 less than 5 condition is not true so at if flag double equal to 0 so if a uh, condition is true then that go and make the flag value 1 so flag value is here 0 so this condition is false so that go to else part here and here that display system dot r dot print so element st value i into 5 so element 5 not found so here this time i into n value 5 so you should try to enter n value 8 and any number so if you enter eight numbers, so you have to enter total numbers of elements are eight, and uh, that uh, if you want to delete any element, so give the element or number. So suppose if I enter, I'm going to enter eleven. So or uh, enter eleven, and here have to do the same try and method. So definitely you will get the expected output. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.